Hi, my name is Ibrahim. I'm a rising junior at Summit Denali, and this is my third milestone. For my third milestone, I had to program the Arduino so that when a button is pressed on my PS2 controller, it will move the tank and not just uh, uh, give a result onto the serial monitor. So, I will first show you a demo of how this works. When X is pressed, when X is pressed, it moves forward. Triangle is backwards. Square is left. A square is right, and then a uh, circle. Square is right, and then circle is left. How this works is I programmed every button. So I programmed it that when X is pressed, both motors will move forward, so making the tank move forward. When I press triangle, the motors are reversed, so they move backwards. And you can see when square, when I press square. Only the left motor is turning and the right motor is stopped. So that makes the uh, tank move left. And for square, uh, only the right, right, right motor moves. So then that causes it to turn right. Struggles. Some struggles I had with this was... So uh, originally I used to use a switch. But I, uh, the wires fell off and I was trying to solder and I accidentally burned it. So then I had to use a button. And I had to rewire everything, so that took a while. Another thing was coding. So I had to code this from scratch, and it was really difficult because I didn't know where to start. I kept asking my instructors, and they told me that you should do some research on your own and try to figure it out. And I did that, and I managed to do the code by myself. I'm really happy that they forced, they forced me to research by myself because it taught me a lot and I wrote the code by myself. Now I, it's like my own code and I understand everything. So I'm really glad they made me do that. For modifications, what I'll do is stack everything on top of the tank so it looks like nice and neat and not big clutter. I'll also put um, an ultrasonic sensor and LEDs and maybe a microphone. Thank you for watching.